breaking the wall of profitable carbon dioxide capture, Dr. Mohammed Sagafifar, University of Cambridge. Fifty-one billion and zero. Fifty-one billion ton. That's the amount of greenhouse gases, most of CO2, we put into atmosphere last year. And zero is where we need to be in less than 30 years. We have two options, both necessary and complementary. First, we need to start using clean, renewable energy sources. Second, for those process, for those industries like cement and steel, where CO2 emission is part of the process, we have to capture that said CO2. However, both of these methods face obstacles at larger scale. Renewable energy is intermittent. What does it mean? Let's take solar, for example. We have sunlight during the day, but not at night time. Therefore, we need large, cheap batteries to store excess renewable energy to use them when that set renewable energy is no longer available. As for carbon capture, it costs you money to capture CO2s. And we all know companies do not like to pay, they want to make money. Therefore, we need to add value to carbon capture. We need to generate revenue to incentivize its utilization. I'm trying to answer both of these questions. However, the twist is that I'm not going to present to you two separate solutions. I'm talking about a single solution, carbon capture battery. A battery that stores electricity by capturing CO2 from these high-emitting industries. Carbon capture battery monetizes the variation in the cost of electricity to generate profit. While conventionally, capturing each ton of CO2 would cost between $50 and $100 with carbon capture battery, these industries can potentially profit between $10 to $20 for capturing each ton of CO2. As a grid scale electricity storage solution, carbon capture battery is economically competitive with currently investigated solutions, even though it includes components that are only needed for carbon capture. Now envision a future where high CO2 emitting industries like cement and steel not only eliminate their CO2 emissions, but become a storage solution for the grid to store excess renewable energy and facilitate a wider and more acceptable renewable energy transition. Thank you. Any questions? Will it work now? Yes. So how long do the batteries last and how do you dispose of them? Uh, so it's a, it's a recyclable material that you can, it's a store as a chemical energy, so it can last for a long time. But with what, the way we do, because we do carbon capture, we need to cycle it almost every day. So it's a, a daily storage scheme. 